another <clears throat> early morning uh, tour looking at uh, the backyard uh, we got three minutes on these video clips so I'll do as fast as I can this is a um, um, Chinese morning glory actually three of them in bloom this morning and uh, I bought these from China uh, oh, seven years ago now and these are seeds of seeds of seeds if you look real close you'll see the heart-shaped uh, leaf there that is a evening um, uh, flower called the moon flower which is the opposite of the morning glory so in a few days uh, or so uh, we will have um, uh, blooms at uh, 6 a.m. or 3 a.m. the day at least 6 the morning glories 4 o'clock in the afternoon the 4 o'clock and then 6 o'clock at night so not only is the yard different every day but it's different almost every few hours here's a, <coughs> a perennial that Charlie got me uh, it looks it, it, it kind of looks like the uh, Sweet Williams, but it's a perennial. Here we are with some daylily blooms. We uh, get a few of these in here uh, this morning. There's a, the spider daylily, um, which is a beautiful large flower. I wanted to come over here and get a shot of these pink. Uh, these don't even look real. Pink. Um, blooms double day lilies they are a late bloomer and we've tried unsuccessfully to cross these at times they're absolutely gorgeous we'll keep trying as you can see the tomatoes as well as the ornamental lilies the tomatoes continue to grow here's our elephant ears here um, tomato plants just doing really good this year uh, taking their time growing which is what you want here's another shot of those cucumbers which have now um, Gone all the way up the trellis. All right, come back here. Here's a spot where I spend a lot of my early mornings. Um, grandkids' uh, chairs here. I'll be adding more to that. Here's a, uh, <coughs> a true blue flower. It's a corn flower, which uh, came from the wildflower seeds from John Foster. I'm going to try and get back here again uh, since we got a little bit of time. Not too much, but um, about 30 seconds here. We'll get a few more of these uh, daylily blooms, at least uh, two of them here, before we're cut off. I don't know how this light change is going to do. That That's not even fully opened yet, but that deep red. And then all along the back here, I put in a number of years ago from mom and dad's yard, uh, these um, trumpet vines. And I read somewhere where you combine them with the Rose of Sharon and you get uh, hummingbirds. We're still waiting for them to come.